Good afternoon, this is Dr. Do. This video is an alphabetic list of problems. Still on letter C, I'm going to talk about the cognitive disorders. Um, this is a cluster of disease uh, caused by the view uh, to the life, to the world, uh, impaired the function. If we all have different point of views and we all have different uh, cognitive uh, views and about the world, about the life, but um, if that uh, cognitive disorder refer uh, le leading to the uh, the disorder that impaired the daily function, so that is a medical condition need to be treated. Psychological disease is a disease. So this is a, uh, from all the traditional concepts that psychological disease is, is not a true disease. Actually, as a matter of fact, the the psychological or uh, psychiatric disease are truly disease. Patients suffered because of of uh, there's the objective um, uh, neurotransmitters or or the other uh, chemicals of normal uh, or disturbed balance cause the disease. So cognitive disorder or personality disorders, they are all the uh, the diseases. Um, uh, so uh, change from the classic point of view that, uh, for example, personality disorders, we all have personalities, but if those particular personality leading to the uh, the extreme that impaired function, for example, paranoia, we all have once in a while those paranoia, uh, doubt, suspicious, but if those doubt, suspicious leading to the um, the dysfunctions and not trust anyone, uh, not uh, uh, paired with anyone, and the thought of the views and impaired the fun uh, the behavior and the function. So those are considered as a paranoid personality disorder con compared to the episode we all have those paranoid, you know, once in a while uh, under special circumstances. So the same thing on cognitive disorders is we all have those uh, point of views, maybe not uh, holding the ground, or maybe there, um, there's some uh, deviated from the normal realm, but those are just one or two episodes, we all have those. The cognitive disorder refers to the point of view uh, deviated too far from the normal uh, realm, so impaired function uh, caused the uh, suffering for the patient and for the people around them. So uh, what are the, uh, there, there's a, a cluster of, there are a cluster of these cognitive disorders from simple uh, distress, anxiety, even the uh, obsessive compulsive disorder, etc. So these are all the, the, uh, the diseases because of the point of view cause the disorder, impaired function, for example, depressed. Uh, there is a uh, uh, nine criteria nine, to diagnose depressed. It's not like a, we feel depressed today and after a good night's sleep, every the next morning you woke up fresh and continue on with your daily routines, daily activities. So this is not depressed disorder. It's just the one episode of the emotional fluctuation, we call that. So the, um, so the cognitive disorders is a... Um, it's called disorders because there's objective evidence. Like for example, the depression has the abnormal serotonin um, uh, levels. So then treated with ser serotonin um, receptor, uh, serotonin react re reuptake inhibitors, which means to increase serotonin um, in between the neurotrans, um, the synapse between the nerves. So uh, lift up. Uh, the function levels. So the other, um, and also the uh, no epinephrine also found uh, decrease in this kind of depression disorder or another cognitive disorders because of the uh, and the trial or treatment of the serotonin neuro, um, no no epinephrine or reuptake inhibitors also can treat depression or anxiety disorders. Um, in terms of the. Uh, Compulsive, uh, obsessive compulsive disorder is also because of point of view, the fear. Uh, it's, that is a kind of extreme form of anxiety. The anxiety, uh, the worries and the not sure. We all have those uh, moments in the life, worries, because there are so many things going on. But if those worries, uh, the point of view, the cognitive um, 
capacity really leading to the extreme that impaired function we couldn't sleep couldn't functional uh, couldn't uh, function couldn't do the uh, daily living daily life those uh, leading to the, the path of disorder so it has to be treated with medications uh, to um, to relax the nervous system to to comfort and to eat so these are the uh, the the one uh, another example of, of cognitive cognitive disorders the um, obsessive obsessive compulsive disorder is like an extreme of the uh, anxiety disorder it's just the worry about the for example um, worry about uh, fear or worry uh, I forgot to lock the door uh, because that something bad might happen if I do not lock the door so double check not enough double check uh, uh, go back to check again still not enough just keep checking 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 without going anywhere so this is the um, beyond the normal realm, we, normal realm we all have those moments oh do I have the key with me and, and you check it oh it's here and then you go on to whatever you need to do whatever you, wherever you need to go but for those um, obsessive compulsive disorder they just kept checking the keys come back and forth uh, didn't lock the door just keep checking the doors without uh, going anywhere to perform normal functions and the washing hands if you recall the movie navigation um, Hugh Howard Hugh had that problem carried with the soap no matter where he goes he just keep washing washing hands only um, until it's bleeding so these are um, all the because fear of bacteria so these are all the cognitive uh, uh, problem in the cluster has to be treated uh, with medications um, if it is just one episode or it's just the uh, uh, normal in normal range it's uh, you know uh, uh, behavior cognitive behavior modifications you remind yourself you you do uh, a lifestyle change will um, reverse the process so that's the early stage but if you leading to the stage that you no know, um, regardless how to modify behavior how to change your view or how to change behaviors cannot leading to other correction that means irreversible have to treat it with medication so this is the the cluster of cognitive behavior disorders um again i just like to uh, like uh, take this uh, video to emphasize those are the conditions that is abnormal it's a pathological uh, psychological or uh, a psychiatric disease are the disease of truly objective findings for example the neurotransmitter is decreased uh, serotonin uh, decrease cause depression and also um, norepinephrine decrease also can cause depression and so these are just like the schizophrenia because the dopamine is uh, overproduced in, uh, in the brain so that causes uh, schizophrenia so these are all the uh, diseases mental disease mental illness are the diseases need to uh, pay attention to uh, diagnose early and to treat early prevent going to the uh, end stage which is uh, uh, difficult to treat so anyway so this is the um the cognitive behavior disorder um very touch touch basis uh, just the uh, encourage or to see your physician if you notice this any emergency situation of course there are uh, uh, emergency uh, conditions associated with cognitive disorder uh, uh, cognitive behavior disorders there are emergency situations so you just feel like you you feel like uh, those like a panic attack you just extremely fear and then you gasping for air on uh, this kind of condition you need to see the physicians or severely depressed cannot uh, um, cannot see any purpose for living or um, any other uh, conditions associated with harm self or harm the others those are the emergency situation go see or, or go see the emergency either brought by the family or, or usually has to be recognized by the family member because patient at that stage really cannot tell the um, the severity of the disease anyway so this is the video very uh, touch base uh, very superficial just a little remind and try to keep a, a healthy lifestyle uh, physiologically and uh, 
uh, psychologically uh, keep uh, keep the mental health on top. Um, so that is uh, really uh, can can improve or can uh, live a happy life. Oh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.